dear buckaroo. Nothing like a game of catch on a beautiful fall day. You said it. It's a good break from inventing, too. I don't believe it! A deer! That can throw? That's one amazing deer! Thanks! Glad you think I'm amazing! Ha! <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> we should have known. Oh, dear. I found these deer antlers in the woods. I knew it'd be good for a laugh. Did you see that, Chris? Chris? Yeah. <laughs> Funny. Why so glum? What's wrong, bro? Oh, well, I was just looking at old pictures on my creature pod and found some of a long-lost pal of ours. Remember this little white-tailed deer fawn? Little buckaroo. Ah, how could I forget? Of course. Such a cutie. He was special. Yeah, we haven't seen him since way back then. You know, he'd be four and a half years old now. I wonder how our buddy is doing. Do you think he's still out there somewhere in these woods? I don't know, but I remember the first time we met him like it was yesterday. Ah, springtime in the temperate forest. One of my favorite times. Flowers blooming, baby animals everywhere. Oh, and stop! Don't move! Trying not to, but why? Because look! A cute little fawn. A white-tailed deer fawn. Just a few days old. <laughs> You're doing a good job, buddy. Keep it still and motionless while your mom's off feeding. Yeah, exactly what a deer fawn is supposed to do. And we'll leave you alone, little pal, so we don't give away your hiding spot. Uh-oh. Now that's a deer fawn's hiding power in action. Yup, spots for camouflage. And fawns have virtually no scent at all, so they're really hard for a predator to sniff out and find. But look. Mom always knows where he is. <laughs> that's why it's so important for people to leave fawns alone if you find them. They may look lost or orphaned, but they're not. Mom is never far away. He's a little buck, Chris. A boy deer. I'll name him Buckaroo. The cutest little deer in the world. Little did we know that wouldn't be the last time we saw our pal. Yeah, that was just the beginning of our adventure with Buckaroo. Oh, I sure miss him. <sighs> Me too. Well then, why are you sitting there looking at his picture? You should get out there and find him. If anybody can find him, you guys can. Well, he'd be a full-grown buck now. He'd look totally different, but we'd recognize him anyway. Of course we would. Did he have any distinguishing markings? He did have that one floppy ear. Let's do it. Let's find the little buckaroo. Oh, maybe big buckaroo now. We can split up. I'll search by air with bald eagle power. Insert creature power disc. Touch bald eagle. Activate bald eagle power. Woohoo! And I'll see if I can find him with deer instinct and know how. Can we use this to start programming a deer power suit? I think I can do that. And I'll send an alert to Wildcrat's kids to see if they have any local intel on white-tailed deer. Let's do this, gang. Let's find Buckaroo. Yeah! With bald eagle powers of keen eyesight and a bird's eye view, I should be able to spot some deer. 
One deer can have a home range of more than 500 acres of woods, fields, and even human neighborhoods. Which is exactly why Buckaroo showed up a second time. So why did you guys want to plant these dogwood seedlings so badly? It's one of the favorite foods of the white-tailed deer. Great for cover, too. We met the cutest little fawn today, so we thought we'd help the deer out a little bit. Cool. Look at how many we planted so far. Chris, Martin, Avivo, we need your help. With a creature rescue. Hey, Audrey, Leo, what's going on? We found an animal in trouble, so we brought him to you. Buckaroo! He was all alone in a field. Um, uh... Okay, you kids are great for wanting to help animals, but sometimes animals may seem like they're in trouble, but they're really not. What do you mean? It's natural for a fawn to be alone in the grass or the woods. It is? It sure is. So the best thing to do is leave the fawn alone, and his mother will come back. Oh no, we made a big mistake. We're sorry, we were only trying to help. We know, and don't worry. Together, we can fix this. Right, guys? Right. We'll get him back to his mom. And in the meantime, we know exactly how to care for him. We sure do. With special fawn milk to tide him over. Cool. Awesome. I really hope we can get this guy back to his mom. I know. We've got to try. Finding a certain individual deer isn't easy. Even the white-tailed deer are the most common large mammal in North America. Chris! Huh? Down here! Coming down, Jenny! Hey! Chris, we just got Koki's message. There's a place near here where there's lots of deer. There's so much sumac for the deer to eat. It's that way, over that hill. Thanks, Nolan. I'll check it out. Bye! Good luck! Okay, we're almost there. One last thing to program. I'm going to make sure you have a big, full wrap. Isn't that what you call it? Oh, yeah. Great. I'm ready. And print white-tailed deer power disc. Catch. Insert creature power disc. Touch deer or antler. And activate white-tailed deer power. Wow, I feel graceful and deer-like. Momentito, something doesn't look like a deer. What? Horns? Who ever heard of a deer with horns? Uh-oh, there must have been a mistake in the programming module I connected to. Deer don't have horns, they have antlers. Eh, horns, antlers, what's the diff? That's like saying there's no difference between a baseball and a tennis ball. Horns and antlers are different. That different? Yeah. Look here, Jimmy. Horns grow continuously throughout the buffalo's life. They're fed by blood vessels and growth plates in the core of the horn. They never fall off or shed. Antlers, on the other hand, are fed by blood vessels in the outer coating, called velvet. And the amazing thing is deer grow a new set of antlers every year. They start growing in the spring, and then sometime in the winter, automatically fall off. They hit the old antler eject button. <laughs> well, sort of. That way they don't have to carry these antlers around all year. And then in the new year, a deer's antlers grow to an even larger size. But why grow antlers at all? Well, let's get antlers on this creature power suit, and I'll show you. On it. I need to download a few adjustments based on the DNA code. OK, all set. And there. I just need to restart the update. Now that's more like it. An eight-point rack. Cool. I'm out of here. Thanks, Aviva! Wow! 30-foot leaps. 35 miles per hour top speed. And my senses, I can hear really well. Smell things like never before. Something's behind me. A black bear. Not so fast, buddy. Whoa, smell you later. Whew. This
this 310 degree deer vision is awesome too. With eyes on each side of my head, I can see almost all around me. Uh-oh, a pack of wolves. Oh no, I gotta be on my toes. I mean hooves, out here. Uh-oh, <laughs> and deer have to watch out for cars, too! With so many dangers, I'm starting to wonder if Buckaroo has even survived this long. Buckaroo! Where are you? Eagle Eye Zoom on! There! White tailed deer! They've bedded down, resting all facing with their backs to the wind. It's genius. Their 310 degree vision watches for predators in front of them and to the sides. And if any predator tries to approach from behind, its odor will be carried by the wind and detected by the deer's amazing sense of smell. It's the perfect 360 degree predator detection plan. Uh-oh, I forgot. Eagles are deer predators too, especially young fawns. No, don't go, I come in peace. Deactivate. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have deactivated on a tree limb. Didn't want to scare them, especially after that scare we had with Buckaroo way back then. Come on, Buckaroo. Here, little deer, this way. We'll take you right back where they found you. Oh no, he wants to play. Come on, Buckaroo, it's not playtime. You know, a fawn can walk an hour after he's born, but it takes some human babies more than a year to do that. All right, Buckaroo, we're getting closer. Keep coming, keep following us. That's right, buddy. Oh no! That was close. Good one, Chris. Was that a golden eagle? Sure was. They'll catch a deer fawn if they get a chance. That's why you need to stay put when mom's not around. Hey, over here. So, is this where you found him? Yeah, there in the tall grass. All right, thanks, Leo. Okay there, so it's best to put him exactly where you found him. That way, his mom can find him again. And I'll put this little fly cam here so we can keep a watchful eye on him and make sure his mom comes. Goodbye, little buckaroo. It was nice getting to know you. Bye, Bucky. Say hi to your mom for us. Her tail. She's nervous. That's why they're called white-tailed deer. They raise that white tail like a warning flag, telling other members of the herd, danger's around, follow me. I gotta transform. Oh, hey, squirrel powers. You mind? Activate red squirrel powers. Ta-da! Just another harmless little squirrel. Okay, just as I thought. This is a herd of does and their young. Generally, for most of the year, does, the female deer, stick together away from the bucks. Right? And the male deer, the bucks, often group up separately. So I'll have to look for a herd of bucks if we're gonna find Buckaroo. Buckaroo, where are you? Whoa, I feel like I gotta attack this little tree. Take that little tree and do that. Uh, Martin, why are you attacking that poor defenseless little tree? Uh, I don't know. Deer instinct, I guess. Well, you're ruining your antlers. They're all torn up. Huh? No, no, that's just the velvet coming off. When the antlers are done growing, deer scrape the velvet off by rubbing trees and bushes. So I was attacking the tree to get to my shiny antlers. 
until the antler growth is complete. Cool. It's Chris. Aviva, Martin, I found some bucks. Come quick. I'm sending my coordinates. Jump on. I can get there fast. Here we come, Buckaroo! Uh, Buckaroo, are you here? You're not Buckaroo. You're too young. Judging by the size of your antlers, you're only about one year old. Has anybody seen a buck with a floppy ear? Nothing. I'll try over here. Okay, you're the biggest one, but still not Buckaroo. Chris, we're here. Hey! Cool deer power suit, Martin. Thanks, bro. So we've got a herd full of bucks, but I can't find Buckaroo anywhere. Nowhere? I've been with does, with bucks all through this area, and nothing. See, the bucks tend to gather at this time of year to prove their strength and dominance in sparring matches. Sparring matches? That sounds like fun. Hey, guys, how's it going? I'm here. It's like a ritual. Ears back, stiff-legged walks, snort wheeze sounds, all mean a challenge. Oh, hi. Uh, what's up, Buck? Cool sound. So, are we gonna spar? Who wants to spar? Oh, hey! Whoa. Hey, whoa, you're serious. Ah! His antlers are sharp. And he has more points than I do. Each buck works his way up the hierarchy in these sparring matches. And it's all to attract and access the does? Yep, but Buckaroo is just nowhere to be found. Maybe he's just not around anymore. Whoa! Life's tough for a deer, and they only live to about six years old in the wild, right? Yeah, Whoa! it's a battle of strength. Locking Whoa! antlers and pushing and shoving the opponents. Whoa! Not all of them get to be big bucks. Ah. Oh. I can't stop thinking of the last time we saw him. Look, here comes Mom. Look how carefully she approaches. Oh, yeah. She wants to make sure she doesn't accidentally lead a predator to her fawn. So when the coast is clear, she reunites with him. They'll stick together for a while, maybe move to a new hiding spot. That's how it works for deer. We did it! We fixed our mistake! And we'll always remember, if you find a fawn, leave it alone. Great job, Wildcrats team! Live a long, happy life, little buckaroo. He sure was a cutie pie. Yeah, he was the best. Right, Martin? Ah! <laughs> Ow! Uh-oh! Use those antlers, bro! I'm trying! Uh, okay, okay, you win. I give, I give! Uh-oh. Is it? Could it be? It is! We finally found him! Buckaroo! Buckaroo to the rescue. And now he's challenged that guy. Two bucks in their prime, ready for battle. I hope Buckaroo's ready for this. Wow, Buckaroo is massive. Yeah, he is. But that other buck is strong too, believe me. They're so evenly matched. What happens if neither one backs down? Whoa! Sometimes major battles like this end in death. Oh, with one deer so wounded from the fight that he just doesn't survive. Most of the time, someone backs down, right? Yeah, most of the time. Ooh, Buckaroo has taken control. He's overpowering the other buck. Go, Buckaroo! You can do it! Whoa! Head twist and thrust! Buckaroo wins! He did it! Yes! Woohoo, Buckaroo! Oh, my boy! Do you think he remembers us? Let's see. Deactivate, guys. Hey, buddy. It's us, the Wildcrats. 
We came to find you. Oh, yeah, Buckaroo. You do remember us. Yeah, you've done well. Grown big and strong, pal. Good job. Look, the herd of does. Bye, Bye Buckaroo. Buckaroo. Great seeing you, pal. Wow, now that's a creature mission accomplished. Oh, yeah. We found our pal and he's doing great. We found out a lot about white-tailed deer. And we invented a brand new white-tailed deer creature power suit. Uh-oh. Come on, bro. Antler battle! Oh, you're on. You looked so easy to beat. Come on, that guy was tough. And now I'm battling you. Plus, I learned some moves. Ah! Okay, bring him on, bro. Get ready for the quiz! Ah, it worked! <laughs>